Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first Christmas spread, so this is very exciting. I'm finally in the Christmas season and I think today's like December 21st. So I'm definitely late to the game, but better late than never, I guess. Um, so anyways, today's spread will be from December 3rd through December 9th and I'm going to be using this kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. It's so perfect for Christmas. It's called Christmas Village and I picked this up in the mini kit format because her mini kits work really, really well with my planning style. Um, here we have the eight full boxes. Um, I love all of these boxes. I think I'm going to use this one in the top corner because it says Candy Cane Lane and I think that's just so adorable. And then on this page we have the four half boxes or I'm sorry six half boxes, two appointment labels and some quarter boxes as well as the weekend banner. Here we've got some functional items like the headers, little things, sidebar trackers, another quarter box, and then three heart checklists. And the last page here has the bottom washi, which I think is so pretty with this like little snowy scene. We've got more quarter boxes, some um, circle icons, a habit tracker, some flags, some functional icons here, and then washi strips. Um, again, her mini kit format generally works really well. I may have to pull in some extra boxes here and there, um, but I think I should have these colors available in my leftover stash, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm actually, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video, but I am spending Christmas with my family in Taiwan. It does not snow there, so my Christmas is not really gonna look like this, um, and it never really does since it doesn't snow in Southern California either. But um, I'm really excited to spend the holidays with my parents. It's been a while since we've gotten to see them over the holiday, so that'll be really, really nice. We're actually leaving tonight, so it's like three. 3 p.m. right now and our flight's at 11 p.m. So I thought I would squeeze in filming one last video before I go so that I have some things to upload when I'm gone. So hope you guys enjoy and I'm going to start as usual by placing down my bottom washi. Okay, you guys, so I did not get around to editing this video when I was in Taiwan, as I had hoped. Um, so I'm actually back home now recording this voiceover. It's already January 9th, so I want to say um, Merry Belated Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I know this video is definitely going up super late, but I do still like to upload all of my memory spreads because they're also kind of for me as well. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys don't mind too much. Also, this is probably the longest stretch that I've had between filming and recording the voiceover right now. Um, so this one might be a little bit rough because I probably will have a hard time remembering like all the things that I've done. Um, but anyways, I put down the bottom washi and I'm just building my sidebar. It's pretty much similar to what I've been doing in the past. Um, the dumbbell sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. And then to mark my happy moments, I used a gold foil asterisk, and that is from Planning World. For Monday, I start by using a glitter header, and that is from Mandy Dreams. I'm pretty sure all of the ones I pull in this week are from her shop, as I usually do, because she has such a great color selection. Um, under that, I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. I was so excited to pull in these little Christmas cups because you only get to use them like once a year. Then I put down a flag to mark my testing appointment that I had that morning. Um, aside from that appointment, I didn't have any meetings that day at work, and so I brush lettered no meetings and I believe that was with my Tombow Fudenosuke brush lettering pen, which I really, really love. Um, I found this really cute munchkin sticker from Once More With Love. I think it came in a sampler and I thought it matched this kit so well. Not only is it red, but it's also wearing a sweater, so it fits like that winter cozy theme. And um, then underneath, I put down a to-do header with a three heart checklist. The phone is from Bubba Bear Studios. Underneath the checklist, I put down a full box. And on the full box, I used a Yoga Girl from Sun Fun stickers to mark that I actually did Pilates that day. I think that works perfectly fine for Pilates as well. And then at the bottom, I put down a little things to mark the TV show that we watched that night. Then moving to Tuesday, I started by using a today header at the top. Then I put down a full box and initially I put down a strip of red washi and used this milk tea time sticker that is from Paper and Milk. That was one of her earlier sheets. So I'm not sure if she still carries that anymore, but I definitely still like to use them sometimes when I get boba. Um, but anyways, I ended up lifting up the red washi and using a little things instead because I didn't want there to be such a huge block of red. Um, I did get boba that day while I was at work because um, a ding tea, which is like my favorite boba place, just opened up near me and I was really excited to go. 
Then underneath that, I used an appointment label and that pencils and a cup sticker is from Lemon Paper Co. That afternoon, I had another meeting, so I used a green glitter header with a half box. Um, the glasses sticker that I used is from Laven Forest. At the very bottom, I put down a to-do header with a three heart checklist. I think that was a leftover from Hello Petite Paper. I can see like the little gold outline on the hearts and I just marked some things that I got done and then also pulled in a workout shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop. That is it for Tuesday. So for Wednesday, I first started by putting down a quarter box at the top. Wednesday was a very rainy day. We actually got quite a bit of rain this week, which is very rare for Southern California. So I used the rain sticker and I believe that is from Adorably Amy Designs. Under that, I put down a little things with a um, upset Coffee Monsters Co. emoji because my heater in my office was broken. So literally my room was like 45 degrees and it was freezing. Then underneath that, I used a lunch bag sticker to mark that I got a free lunch um, at work that day, which is always nice. I love to mark free food in my planner, as some of you guys probably already know. And then I used a glitter header with a full box underneath. I had an IEP that afternoon, and for those of you who are new to my channel, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students in special education, and I like to mark those with these little IEP flags that I get from um, Lily Grove Designs. At the very bottom, I used a little things to mark the show that we watched, and then above that, I put down a half box with a cardio sticker um, that is from, I believe, Simply Me Kish, and then the Workout Girl sticker is from Paper Princess Plans. I do switch that out later on because I wanted to mark something else instead. On Thursday, I started by using a full box at the top, and then I put down a little things with a rain mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi, which I think is so cute. He's like carrying this little umbrella um, because it was again raining on Thursday as well. I then put down a quarter box, which I believe I found in my leftovers collection. I don't think that one came in the kit. And then the pencil sticker is from Nikki Plus Three. I used another IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting that afternoon. And then, like I said, for Wednesday, I did want to mark that I recorded my voiceover instead of my workout, just because I do track my workout in my sidebar. So if there's something else that I did in the day, um, sometimes I like to mark that instead. I put down a YouTube girl sticker from Paper and Milk, and then the record hand lettered sticker is from Love Shira. Moving back to Thursday, I put down a glitter header with a quarter box, and then that workout shoe sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I did mark my workout on Thursday. At the end of the night, my boyfriend and I did our usual date night on Thursdays. Um, it was raining, but we still decided to walk to the restaurant anyways, and so I marked that we walked in the rain. The date night otter sticker is from Planner Perks, I believe, and then the gold foil heart is from White Deer Stationery. Moving to Friday, first I put down the full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then I decided to move everything up a little bit on Thursday because I didn't want the um, half box to be touching the bottom. Um, I was just being a little bit picky with how I wanted my white space, so I adjusted it a little bit and I like how that looks better. Then for Friday, I put down a glitter header at the top with a half box to mark that it was finally Friday. I kind of regret that a little bit because I did so much on Friday um, that I didn't actually get to mark. And um, that was partially because the TGIF just took up so much space. On Friday, I did grab some Thai takeout for lunch and I love Thai food. I wanted to mark that for sure. Um, the little takeout sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. When I got home, I had a few things I had to do because I was going down to San Diego that night and staying with a friend. Oh, but first I put down a little things towards the bottom to mark that my friend had gotten home from her business trip. So we got to see her that night. And then um, I ended up shifting everything up a little bit because I realized how many things I wanted to mark and how little space I had remaining. On the three heart checklist, I just marked some things that I did after work. Um, I had a workout, I packed and then went to Trader Joe's to grab some things. And then we went and got dinner out that night. So I marked that with a noodle sticker. We went to a Taiwanese place. So I wanted to um, note that we got some beef noodle soup, which was so good. And that glittery quarter box actually was not from the kit. I found that in my leftover stash. And then because things didn't fit well, I cut off a little bit of the full box at the top just to make a little bit more room. On the quarter box, I put down a car sticker from Happy stickers to mark that um, my friend and I drove down to San Diego to see my other friend because we had a um, event planned for Saturday. 
For the weekend, I layered some washi strips there at the top, and then I put the weekend banner directly over that. For Saturday, I first started by putting down a header and then covered it with a Remember Script sticker, and that's from, I think, K-Stickers Co. Then I used a half box with a wine sticker from Kylie and Chaos because my friends and I went and did a wine tasting trip in Mexico. It was for my friend's birthday. It turned out to be super fun. We had like a private driver that took us around, and um, yeah, it just ended up being a really good time. I added an appointment label on top of the half box because I wanted to mark that on the bus ride down to Mexico, we played um, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys, where somebody like chose kind of an obscure song Song from one of the two bands and we all had to like take turns guessing which band sang the song and whoever got it wrong had to drink so it turned out to be really fun and actually like a pretty legit game but yeah I just wanted to mark that and under the half box I used a glitter header with a full box um, we actually went to quite a few different spots but I didn't have space to mark it because I did want to put down that full box so I just had to sacrifice not having it in my planner um, one of the things I did want to mark from our trip was that we went to watch the sunset and get some drinks at this spot called Quattro Quattros. It was super gorgeous. It was like overlooking the ocean, like on a cliff. And so it had like the most amazing view. And it was just so lovely that I wanted to mark it separately. That gold foil heart sticker is, I believe from Stella Bow Sticker Co., which I think is what used to be student planning. At the end of the day, I put down a half box with a board game Maru from Paper and Milk because we play some games after we got home and stayed up pretty late, so I put that on the half box. Then moving to Sunday, I first put down a glitter header with a full box underneath that. And then on Saturday, I did shift things around just to make it fit more nicely. Um, then I used another Christmas coffee cup from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we got some Starbucks on Sunday morning. We were super tired because we slept really late the night before. And then I did quite a few things on Sunday and had very little space to mark everything. So I condensed a lot of things onto that three heart checklist. Um, I did get to go visit my friend and her little baby who I love so much. Um, so that was definitely a highlight light of the day. Uh, underneath that, I put down a half box with a pillow sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark that I met up with a couple other friends and we got full body massages at this spot that's like really affordable um, and they do a really nice job. Then after the massage, we went and got some sushi and the sushi sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I'm done planning my week, but when I looked over my spread, I think what happened was that I felt like there was a lot more red in the second half compared to the first half. So I wanted to pull in more red um, in the first half of the week. So I basically added some red washi strips behind the um, paper lunch bag to just add a little bit more color. I also removed the little things that was behind the emoji head and now I'm just moving on to my sidebar and tracking all my working out, my happy moments, and my dinners. Um, this part I always forward through really quickly because it does take me a while to write everything down and now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left. Like I said, her mini kits work really well for me so I don't have a whole lot left over but I will add it to my stash to do a giveaway when I have a few kits um, compiled. So anyways, that is it for my first Christmas spread of 2018. I'm so sorry that this is going up so late. I know some of you um, do not prefer to see Christmas spreads out of season, and that is totally understandable, but I am planning to uh, memory plan all of these spreads. I hope you guys enjoyed this as always, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday with your families and friends, and um, a great start to 2019. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.